Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to forego a weekly vlog and instead we'll be sharing with you guys my 2020 spring summer luxury wish list. So if you are interested in seeing what I have on my list, then just keep watching. You guys, so I do have everything written here in my notebook and I want to say first of all I am using natural lighting so forgive if the lighting comes in and out we're just going with the flow um, nonetheless I will go ahead and hop into it I don't have many things on my list because I'm really trying to be more mindful about the things that I buy especially when it comes to luxury pieces and just making sure that I'm not just buying things just because they're popular just because they're on trend just because they're in for the moment but they are pieces that I really love of. they are functional they are useful and just are overall pieces that I will continue to get a lot of wear out of not only right now but seasons to come years to come so I only have five things on my list but I do like to consider them tiny but mighty and the first thing is the Louis Vuitton multi pochette I am obsessed with this bag I'm not gonna lie I was eyeing it when it first came out and also the fact that it was sold out before it was physically released is crazy. I happened to be near a Louis Vuitton boutique a couple of weeks ago and I know again that this bag is super sold out but I decided to just pop in and just get a I guess a heads up of what the wait time was at the store that I popped into um, the young lady who was super helpful let me know that there was about a two month wait list for the bag which really isn't that bad I have heard some people say that they are on a four to five to six month wait list which I think is a bit crazy to be honest after three months I probably wouldn't want the bag anymore um, but she did let me know that it was about a two month wait list for the bag and I decided to go ahead and put my name down for the rose color there have Happened to be a bag that um, another sales associate was actually mailing off that morning and I did ask to try it on and after trying it on and just realizing just how functional it is and how easy it is to style I wanted that much more I do believe the price point at the moment is 1640 I want to say so 17 plus some um, with tax of course and I do believe since the bag was first released in the fall there has been a price increase I want to say it was 15 some Thing when the bag was first released and already since fall till now it has gone up 150 or 60 dollars which I think is crazy but at this point these luxury brands are doing it because they know that they can so needless to say I would love to get my hands on this bag I was able to play around with it in the store and just get an idea of how much it fits and just the overall I guess usefulness of the bag and for me I know it's something I could wear every day I love the fact that it's a crossbody I love that you can take off that really thick strap and use it on other bags if you wanted so I don't know you guys like I said it's very trendy it's very popular it's very sold out but it is something that I would love to get my hands on because I know this is a useful bag and if I wanted to I could literally wear this bag every single day so, moving so. right along the next item I have on my wish list for the coming season is a pair of sunglasses by the brand Loewe. I was in their Soho store or popped into their Soho store a couple of weeks ago to see if they had one of two styles or both the styles that I currently have on my wish list and they had one of the two styles and I wasn't completely convinced that this was gonna be the style for me however once I tried them on I fell in love I am in the market for a pair of black sunglasses I am a little bit more picky when it comes to black sunglasses because they tend to be very harsh this particular style I am very much so here for I love the fact that it's a slight cat eye but it's still very dark and vampy and cool and out of the two styles this is now the number one style that I might get they are $330 I do have them in my matches fashion wish list but I do believe you can also purchase these from the Loewe website I have not found this particular style anywhere else Net-a-Porter does not have them um, I don't think my Teresa has them nor do I think Farfetch has them at least the last time I looked I could be wrong but I do know that Matches Fashion and the Loewe website does have them. So really into these and these are very much so at the top of my luxury wish list for the spring summer season. All right, you guys. So the next item on my wish list is something that it is really a love hate for me. It's a love hate because I wish I would have just gotten this particular item when I first saw it two years ago. So I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant. Just bear with me, okay? Um, but I'm talking about specifically the Chanel Chunky Dad Sandals. Now I know this shoe is not for everyone. However, if it is for you, 
bear with this rant. I first noticed that this sandal was gonna be a thing back in spring 18. That is when Chanel, I believe, or at least when I saw Chanel first releasing these chunky dad sandals. Now, of course, we know Marnie has been doing this particular style. Birkenstocks been doing it, nothing new. However, specifically, I want to say Chanel first started to release their chunky dad sandals back in the spring of 18. And that is when I first noticed them. And I really liked them, but I just wasn't sure if it was a shoe that I was going to get a lot of wear out of, if it was just a trendy shoe wasn't sure overall and I didn't want to just deep dive into getting a Chanel pair because of course they're expensive now fast forward two years not only are these shoes wildly popular just overall in fashion whether Chanel or not but with Chanel these shoes are so in demand they are ridiculously sold out People are jumping through loops to get their hands on a pair of chunky Chanel dad sandals. And not only that, but the price, you guys, the price is ridiculous. Now, back in summer or spring, summer 18, when I first saw the Chanel chunky dad sandals for the leather style, not for rubber, not for tweed, not for anything else, for the leather style, and I want to say a quilted style, they were 900 they were either like 900 to a thousand which is expensive don't get it twisted <laughs> it is expensive however they were still justifiable as crazy as that sounds they were still justifiable okay fast forward the leather quilted version this spring seasons i won't say summer because i have not seen the complete summer collection yet however the spring style that i have seen all over instagram all over the blogs are 14.75 before tax ma'am sis dearest 1000 let's just say 1500 before tax so really like 16 1650 depending on where you live with tax you want to charge me $1,500 for a pair of sandals? I just, you guys, I don't know. I, I just can't get into it. Again, two years ago, I would have gladly paid $900. I would have paid up into $1,100. But $1,475 before tax? I don't know, you guys. And if I'm just being honest, I'm really not even that in love with the current spring season. Again, I can't speak on the summer collection because I have not seen the full summer collection yet, um, but I'm not in love with the particular styles that have been released for spring 2020, especially not for 1475. And the particular style that I would love to get is from, I want to say, the spring summer 18, spring summer 19 collection. And I have seen this particular style on Poshmark, of course, sold out, best year collective. I've seen it on eBay and either they're not my size, they're sold out or people are charging twelve thirteen hundred dollars for a shoe that's two or three seasons old so like i said i'm having a love hate with this with this shoe and yes i know birkenstock are making great pairs tiva are making great pairs marnie the chunky dad sandal is a classic marnie style i do actually have my eye on one particular marnie style but if i'm just being honest i want a chanel pair i want a chanel pair it is what it is so we'll see this is on my wish list. It's not high up on my wish list because I'm not paying $1,500 for a pair of sandals. However, I would love to get my hands on a previous season style, but it has to be the right price. I may fall in love with a pair of summer 20 sandals i am following thread styling which i'm sure a lot of you guys know about they are an instagram personal shopping service but they are based out of europe and they get all of the things anything that is sold out that is luxury they somehow get their hands on however they tax like crazy trust me i've done my research we're keeping hope alive we're praying on it but as of now a chanel dad sandal but specifically from the 18 or 19 collection sorry you guys if the lighting is a little bit different the angle is different the lighting was starting to come in and it was literally blinding me nonetheless moving along the next item is a ready-to-wear piece and it is a beautiful dress by the designer 
I want to say Cecily, Cecile, Cecily, not sure, Bonson. I would love to get my hands on one of her dresses. I have been eyeing her dresses for at least three seasons now, and they are so beautiful, so feminine. I will say if you are not into the oversized Moomoo Moo baby doll style dresses, you probably will not like any of her designs because that is the majority of the styles that she makes. But her dresses are very expensive. The styles that I have my eye on retailed for about $1,600 or $1,700. That is the average price point of her dresses. There are a couple of that I do have my eye on that are on sale. Some are um, on Net-A-Porter, but they're sold out. The other couple of styles that I have my eye on are on Matches Fashion, but they're still like $800, $900, and I just am not willing to spend that much money on a dress. Her dresses are beautiful. I do believe they are made extremely well. I have seen some of my favorite influencers wearing and styling them and I am convinced that this is something I would wear so many times in the spring summer season with sneakers with of course chunky dad sandals and I can take it easily into the fall winter season with tights um, again with sneakers combat boots western style boots I know I would get a ton of wear out of these dresses but again I just don't know that I want to spend more than $500 on it if they do come back on Net-A-Porter and the price is right in the colorway that I want I do want to go ahead and snag up one of these dresses because as we move further into the spring summer season they're just going to be full price again because the pieces that are on sale are from the fall winter collection so if I'm gonna get it on sale it needs to be really right now right, so you guys and last but not least is something that I have had my eye on for several years now it's not necessarily a trendy item but it is something i would love to just have in my overall collection and it is a vintage chanel chain belt like i said this isn't necessarily trendy at all actually it's pretty classic um and it is something that i have had my eye on and have been eyeing back and forth for probably four or five years now and i just have not found the style that i want um at the price that i'm willing to pay the two styles that i I have been wanting for the past couple of years I have not seen them go for anything less than nine hundred to eleven hundred dollars and I'm just not willing to pay that much money for a belt so if I can find it somehow some way randomly for five to seven hundred dollars I am willing to pay it but I don't think that I'm willing to go over eight hundred dollars um, but I do love vintage Chanel hence these earrings I got these for myself last year and I love them I, I do love the quality behind vintage Chanel um, so I would love again to get my hands on a vintage chain belt but I'm not willing to pay a thousand dollars for a belt so if I can find the styles one of the two styles um, ideally that I want for somewhere between six and eight hundred dollars i am willing to pay that but anything more than eight hundred i'm not paying for a belt all right so. you guys so i'm going to go ahead and end this video because as you can see the light is coming through aggressively i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out my blog chanelfiles.com and of course follow me over on instagram that is where you will see a majority of these items being styled and shot and i will talk to you guys a little bit later